Uh, my name is Jack Asher and I work for Gavin Electrical. We do compliance certificates, we do install solar, um, we do maintenance around the houses. Me being more mature and being like experienced to the out world, talking to clients and that is, yeah, I've grown also from that a lot. How's it? I'm Gavin uh, from Gavin Rubin Electrical. He's, he's good at technical, which I'm not so good at. Um, he sets up a lot of inverters for me. He's very good with a client. He's very good on the phone. I think I wasn't sure what Jack uh, was about, so I think I was a bit nervous. He's very easygoing. He's an easygoing person. I really want to say thank you to them for bringing me into their, or their lives, into their workspace and giving me an opportunity to be with them. Uh, my name is Daniel Slavin, I work at Lesco. I package plugs, seal plugs, extension cords, multi-plugs, ball sockets, light switches. I was inappropriate, immature. I've been going to therapy with my favourite therapist, Kiara, and she's helped me a lot, as well as Mrs. Wood and Mr. Leo. Taking responsibility, be mature, and do things the right way. Hopefully getting full employment here. I thought I would still be at school and didn't imagine me working. It makes me feel proud. Hi, my name's Lee Anderson and the workplace I work here is called Lesco. I felt happy and organised to come here to do, to do the things I like to. I put springs and shutters into plug covers. I also put like white clips into top covers to put in the bases. Then I also fold boxes. I'll, I've tightened screws in, in ASCs, the little Wi-Fi boxes. Uh, I want to say thank you to Lebo and Funnel for, for having me here. And then and then also say thank you to, to, to Jonathan for, for, for the opportunity. I, I have a smile to my face because, because I love it here at Lesco. Uh, hi, my name is Mbati Selwani and I'm working for Lesco. And I was doing putting the screw inside the box terminals before I put it inside the box. Then, then I was doing some data capturing at the computer for how many lines did they do target. I was being more mature enough and very being grateful to other colleagues. I want to thank you to Jonathan, Lebo, Teboho, and know to be great opportunities enough as, a, as an encouragement to me and all the times. So the company's strategy is to have an overall 50% uh, of uh, labor or staff in the factory uh, of disabled people. So in our journey to meet that objective, Oak House has been very strategic and helpful in introducing learners at a very young age so that we expose them to the workplace. We have absorbed 100% of all the learners that have been through our program. The guys are very dependable, they enjoy working here, they work very hard. We have a lady Jody that comes weekly to check how the progress of the learners are doing and to give us any support and training. I recommend them because they've been productive, they've been good workers, hard workers, they always improve each and every day. My name is Dr. Matibe, I work at Vodacom at Lakeside Mall located in Benoni. I'm a greeter slash express toll. A greeter greets customers at the door gives tickets to wait for the consultants, and express toll sales airtime and accessories. And if you need me, I'm your guy. The best part of my job is meeting different people from around the country and learning who they are, speaking to them, even handling difficult customers, just learning how to be professional and comfortable with it. Next year, I'll be here at Vodacom, and I'll be working here six days a week. Sounds crazy, but yeah. I feel great, I feel nervous, but, you know, I'm doing what the best I can do. Tlotlo, he's a very, very uh, friendly person, very welcoming. He interacts with everyone in the store, the customers, and he'll give you full attention in whatever conversation you get to have with him. And what I like about Tlotlo mostly is that uh, he doesn't leave things hanging. He'll want to understand to the full extent. To me, I feel like working with someone with disability, you get to learn about a person. It's like working with someone who is able to do certain things, but in a different way. I myself have people in my family who have special needs and didn't unfortunately get the same opportunity as Totler has. 
So I think it's amazing that, you know, kids that do have special needs, although the special needs are, you know, are really overlooked when you spend time with them and you understand how, how um, capable they really are. Unfortunately, a lot of kids don't get that same opportunity. So, you know, big, big ups to Oak House and, you know, big ups to the whole program that you guys have got running. Hi, my name is David Baggett and I work in super sports. So I do data capturing and creating uh, players' profiles and loading information on the laptop. I love about being involved with missing players, being part of them and sharing information with my colleagues. But now I feel like I'm ready for anything. His strength is making friends. Uh, now he's a very lovable character. He's fantastic around the office and to be honest, a lot of attention to detail. It's something that when he picks up uh, either miscalculation or a date or a spelling mistake, things that a lot of my coaches oversee, I actually have to remind him to take breaks and uh, like after you've done this, go and have a tea break or coffee break that he, you know, he just gets so involved in his work that if you don't remind him, that, you know, he'll stay there and go, go right through the day. Hard work and attention to details, it's fantastic characters to have. Oak House has been phenomenal and I really think that uh, it's a program that should be adopted and, uh, you know, spread through other type of institutes. My name is Ryan Sermony. I work at King Edward Prep School in the sports department. My favourite part is when the kids learn how to swim, when they finally get water safe. And I was, I was a bit shy, nervous. Up to this point, I think I've earned their respect and their trust. I want to thank all the teachers and Mrs. Wood and Mrs. Edinburgh for finding me this job. I get to work with kids and do sports, which I really love. And to do it all together is, is something special. Ryan works in our, in our sports department. Um, obviously being in a primary school in, uh, institution, he works across a variety of sporting codes, uh, specifically in the physical education department. Um, he's also always willing to give an open hand towards helping with extra murals in the afternoon as well. For him, I can see from when he started to his journey now, um, this intro, introverts that came into the school and getting to know him, very scared to ask questions, very scared to engage. But in the process over time, I can just see how he's changed. He will continue to strive in an educational institution and, and grow in that, in, in that manner. Hi, my name is Brogan. Um, I work at the tuck shop in King Edwards. I serve customers and then when the ladies go on lunch and there's too many people in the front, I'll go make toasted sandwiches to help the ladies at the back. After work experience and in the time that I've had, I've become a lot more respectful, not as immature. I've, I've learned to work with people and have people help me, not just do it on my own. I've been hired permanently to work at the tuck shop. A bit nervous, uh, obviously. I'm used to the same routine of school, but yeah, it will be exciting to come to work. My name is Bruce Mayer, and I'm the tuck shop owner of King Edward VII School. Rogan's strengths is that he's very reliable, um, he's always on time, and he's always willing to help when necessary. For me personally, it's been very rewarding seeing Rogan's growth. And not only that, I've given Brogan an opportunity in the real world. So we host some students from Glen Oaks and it's been such a phenomenal journey partnering with Glen Oaks in terms of growing youngsters and offering them future possibilities at our school. We don't see difference. It's more of an embracing of individuals who have so much value to add, the ideas, the creativity, their passion and their expertise because they do have expertise. Uh, my name is Daniel Slaven, I work at Lesco and I used to work at Leroy Merlin for three years. My favourite department was working at RSS and meeting Bayanda and all the other colleagues and Bayanda showed me on my first day how to strap boxes and doors which I found tricky at first because I always used to strap them too tight and then the strapper would snap. But then I got used to it and I always used to 
work through it on my own. My journey with Daniel started about 15 months ago. He's amazing because when you teach him something, he ends up doing it better than we taught him. So the journey has really been amazing. He's really easy to teach. He, I like how he also says when he doesn't understand something. So yeah, it's, it's been amazing. So his strengths, uh, not scared to try something. So everything we threw at him, he took it. We gave him customer facing roles where he would have to interact. We gave him roles where he had to go onto the floor to interact with the team, plus receiving, plus service providers. So I think he's, he's brave and he's willing to try. He's also very well mannered and every day he came to work, if he was missing a name badge or something, he would come and find me personally to say, I need to get my jacket, my name badge, and very proud of himself. He always arrived at work on time, dressed properly and fitted in with the team. Hello, my name is Mbati Selwani. I also work at Supersport. I was sorting out some of her kits before I folded them neatly, before I put it inside the bag. My favorite part of this job is stock taking and heading up some bibs to the players. I would like to thank Matthew, GP, and even some of our players for the opportunities and supporting me all the time. I feel really good at Supersport. Uh, my name is Matthew Stemba. I'm a kid assistant at Supersport Youth Academy. It, it was a great experience because of normally you'll hear people saying different stories about the people who are uh, disabled like but but with my experience he he was too quick to, to catch up with the, the work I was the workload I was telling him and I was teaching him. It didn't take much because of even the next week when he came I was finding him do this doing the same job I asked him to do the past week. Uh, his strength is uh, he can communicate and ask and then also where he doesn't know he, he will come and ask you where can I help and then he also uh, he was also helping with the aunties with the sandwiches as well. He likes to work. He's a workaholic. Hi, my name is David Baggett and I also do work experience in Branson Country Club. Oh, my first job is I rake bunkers. I pick up empty buckets and broken teas and uh, yeah, put in bowls aside so it can be neat. I give people buckets when they want to buy something and I work on the computer and store everything what they bought. I do like sports in general because you can learn, learn new uh, skills. Yes, I want to thank Mam Kim for always being happy and Mam Yolanda and Mr. Warwick for making me laugh sometimes. I feel connected here because I'm doing my best every day. I must say that this has been my very first experience working with um, a special person like David. Um, I have found it incredibly rewarding just to see how he started with us and how he's grown in confidence. And just for me to learn about a person that is just wired differently, it's been a real privilege. I think, not to sound cliché, that it's a very special relationship. Um, these, these kind of experiences not everyone has the privilege to have or the opportunity to be involved with. And it's just really, really heartwarming that we can be involved and be um, part of their journey. The first sort of six months was very feeling each other out, sort of a little bit here, a little bit there. And once he got comfortable with his surroundings, it was almost like we had a new friend at the academy. And that smile started beaming, he started engaging and interacting. And all the way till now, till I actually see him serving people and working the POS system and confident with handling any transaction, I think is just like you want to jump out your skin and say, yes, <laughs> it's a win. <laughs>